Our trip to Iguazu Falls didn't start the way we planned. A strike of workers in the Argentinian National Park had stopped traffic to the falls and we were stalled in a mile-long queue of buses and cars. Then our guide had a bright idea. Instead of starting our tour on the Argentinian side, we could cross over to Brazil and see the falls from there. The border is in the middle of the bridge across the river and marked by the two nations' national colours. We knew the falls would be spectacular, but nothing prepares you for the first time you see them. Now stand by for some gee whiz statistics. Taller than Niagara, the Iguazu Falls spread along 2.7 kilometers of the Iguazu River. Someone has actually counted the number of waterfalls and come up with a figure of 275. And then there's the 12,000 cubic meters of water that in peak times flow over them every second. None of the Saïs Amigos would walk away from an adventure, and so it was they donned their life jackets and headed out on the perilous boat trip to see the falls from the river. Shit scared? Oh. Yeah, yeah. And then there was another thrill ride. The Iguazu Falls from above. After such a full-on day, the dining subcommittee of Los Seis Amigos decided that the Buffalo Bronco was the place for dinner. To quote the menu, noble meats were offered in abundance. Sandra reckoned that the really noble meats weren't brought out until we were too full to eat them. Meanwhile, President Steve was working on the club's balance sheet. Absolutely, but my brain is now hurting. Sorry. <laughs> it's beautiful music. You play beautiful music. Thank you. Obrigado. Surprisingly, it turned out they had a CD and it was for sale. So, of course, we had to buy it. 
and before we left, the final word came from Sandra, the secretary of the Jokes subcommittee. The woman goes to confession and she says to the priest, Father, I have sinned, I went out with my boyfriend last night and we had sex seven times. He said, that's dreadful. He said, what can I do to absolve me? He said, go home and squeeze seven, lemon, seven, seven lemons and drink the juice. She said, will that absolve me? He said, no, but it'll wipe that smile on my face. <laughs> Steve Rayburn reporting. Uh, today is Thursday. The Cultural Committee has organised uh, a visit to the. Uh, what's the name of it? Dam? Dam. Yeah, the dam. The dam. The dam. The dam. Uh, is it a, called the Iguazu Dam? No. 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 It's not the Iguazu Dam. The Iputu Dam. We're going to the Iputu Dam for one hour and we're going to check out. This is one of the seven wonders of the world. And our Cultural Committee is made up of Steve and me and Steve. Steve. The Itaipu Hydroelectric Power Project is in fact the largest in the world, as this PR doco told us. It supplies 90% of the energy used by Paraguay and almost 20% of the electricity consumed by Brazil. Por que Itaipu tem a força do Rio Paraná? And here's something you probably didn't know. The composer Philip Glass wrote a choral symphony about the dam after he visited in 1988. So finally we got to see Iguazu Falls from the Argentinian side, and that created great debate about which side had the best view. The guidebooks say the best panoramic views are from the Brazilian side, but the Argentinian side has a series of catwalks that take you almost right into the waterfalls. The National Park has a train ride to the start of the one kilometre walkway that takes you right to the top of the Garganta del Diablo, the Devil's Throat and the biggest single waterfall at Iguazu. Quite to say, huh? You have to say where we are, mate. Uh, uh, we're on... Uh, where are we are? We're at the Devil's Throat, on the way to the Devil's Throat. Devil's Throat, we're yeah. on the way to the Devil's Throat. And we just passed, we just came by train. Just came by train. Yep. And we're crossing some amazing bridges over the river. So we're doing some amazing bit of evolution, I'd say. <laughs> You've done very well, mate. That's, pretty, that's very good. Oh, that's a script, yeah, no, no. George Negus couldn't do it as well as you did. 